Well, this is the not so new Super Duke GT from KTM. Um, typically, most motor vloggers would like to get the uh, get their hands on one early and get the uh, first impression, first review. Well, this is the freaking last impression and last review since everyone's been doing this for a year. Um, but this is my first sight to this bike. We just got this in and. I gotta say it looks badass. I, I like the colors. Typical origami design from KTM. Gotta look different. Forward motion stance, yada, yada, yada. Bike comes with a bigger gas tank, gets some more range from the Super Duke. Comes with a five position uh, windscreen, mechanically adjusted. Comes with bags that are really weird shaped. And uh, you know, as long as you're carrying about 15 pounds of Play-Doh, it's no problem. Um, other than that, you'll just be stuffing soft stuff in there. Uh, still has the 180 horse, fast as hell. And you can't see really that there's any quick shifter, but there is a quick shifter on this bike for up shifting. Um, they're internal sensors, and I don't know how it works because I haven't ridden it yet. But uh, it is, I expect it to be as comfortable as the Super Duke. Um, and by all accounts, this thing is just, uh, it's just a pure motherfucker. It's fast and unforgiving and serious. Nothing casual about this bike. Emphasis on sport for the touring. Anyway, let's uh, we'll take it out for a spin. A couple other things: cruise control, heated grips, um, electronically damped suspension. So, you know, by all accounts, a top-tier, first-rate motorcycle. And um, we'll take it out. I'm going to take it out all day Sunday up Mines Road up to Mount Hamilton and put it through its paces, but uh, for right now... Just like the other KTMs, everything's accessed through your computer. This is your mouse. You can cycle through. Rear so it's telling me the rear tire pressure is low. But it's been doing that. I think there's an issue with the sensor. I've got the grip set on medium. Let's see how that feels. Sounds like a beast, as usual. This bike is like Donald Cerrone, man. There's no fooling around. This is just a fucking journeyman fighter right here. It'll take you apart in a heartbeat. Wow, so smooth for a gigantic twin, 1,301 cc's. It's, it's a beast. The brakes are intense. Not sticky, just very modulating, but uh, powerful. Quick Shirt Expert works very well. Man, this bike is just so stable. Weird coming off of an R9T Scrambler onto this, so different. Yeah, it's just solid as a rock. Wow. The dynamic suspension is just crazy smooth. I know you're not supposed to use it on the downshift, but the bike has a great slipper clutch, so if you need to stomp on the shifter, like I just did, it's not going to give you any grief. Somehow the bike seems a little more refined than the, uh, the Super Duke, even though I know it's not. Um, maybe because the windscreen's pushing some of the wind over me. Maybe I haven't ridden a Super Duke in a while and forgot how filthy smooth that bike is. But the bike just hauls ass. You can just get on it. 
and go. Never ridden this bike before, I'm completely comfortable with it. Uh oh. Watch out, Sparky. <laughs> this is awesome. You can just cruise around, you know, at 90 miles an hour like you're just going the speed limit. It's like, this is easy. Alright all you golfing motherfuckers, beat it. Not that there's anything wrong with golf. I'd just rather be doing this. This bike just floats. I'm all upright, and perfect posture. Like uptight middle-aged guy just riding around. Once again, everything's cooperating. That's wonderful. No, the bike's solid as a rock. Why wouldn't you buy this motorcycle if you wanted to do some touring and be super sporty at the same time? That's the question. Why wouldn't you? Well, you would. Ooh, those heated grips are coming on. That feels nice. Nice. Like a boss. Did you guys lose all your fucking money overnight? <laughs> Revving up the bend is sounding like my fucking cat farting. Anyway, that was just very impressive. I mean, I didn't do shit to the motorcycle. I just started it up, went, the damping was set for one rider. Um, the uh, traction control was set for uh, sport mode. And, uh,. I just went out and rode it. it just it was awesome. I'm not sure I see a reason to get uh, the Super Duke instead of the GT for everyday riding. Just uh, take the bags off, go to the track. It does everything. Um, anyway, the the quick shifter is huge on this bike. I really enjoyed that. That worked well. So. Uh, what else is there to say other than go test ride one? This bike is a demo, so other shops have demos, I'm sure. Come get your yayas out. Have at it. Cheers. <laughs>